The storm made a big impact, dumping buckets of rain over much of northeastern and central Pennsylvania. And many of you have the pictures to prove it. Newswatch 16's Ryan Leckie is live in the digital studio with your photos. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, guys. A lot of content coming into Newswatch 16. Some of you are texting us and some dropping them onto my Facebook page. I have to tell you, as far as uh, some of the rain totals overnight, take a look at this text message. It's 2 a.m., just over four and a half inches of rain in Schuylkill County. And as we zoom in on some of the other content that you shared with us, take a close look a different kind of rain gauge. This from Valerie Miller. She said this was my kids pool yesterday. So this was last night at nine o'clock. It was empty Wednesday morning. She's from Mountaintop. You could see plenty of wet weather in that part of Luzerne County. As far as when the rain stopped, other parts of our viewing area in Sealands Grove, they said things kind of leveled out around eight o'clock uh, last night. But let me tell you, overnight, this is the site some people across northeastern and central Pennsylvania are dealing with. From Stephen to even Don, a number of people just sharing some of the damage and uh, some wet mess going on in their basements. Now we can tell you that there was some ponding on yards and on roadways. This from Chaz in Coltmont, one of the higher streets, but compared from that shot to this Richter Avenue around 11 o'clock last night, definitely a wet mess there, but things are definitely clearing up this morning. This is what my commute looked like in the Dunmore area around 3 a.m., mainly dry roads in this part of Lackawanna County, but some of you were out and about as well yesterday capturing some of those raging waters. Yeah, this is just one of many videos that Newswatch 16 received. This from Liz Huzzard. This is the Lackawanna River in Old Forge yesterday afternoon. And some other content here from Carbondale. Jared Lynn showing us, I believe this is a local stream or creek here. And from Rebecca, not sure exactly where this neighborhood is, but she shared this with us and a number of people dealing with flash flooding experienced uh, similar sites. We'll be taking a closer look at some more of your content. By the way, if you want to check river levels where you live, you can text the word river to 570-826-1616. We'll zip you all the information to your smartphone. More ahead from the digital studio, guys. I'll see you around 630. Great pictures. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan.